friends, and welcome back to Rocky Railway Day 2. I am Miss Marissa. I'm your conductor for this journey in our VBS Rocky Railway. Um, we're going to sing and have fun and learn about how Jesus' power pulls us through every day. We're going to go ahead and start with a song called Your Power Will Pull Us Through. in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope. Rocky Railway, we are imagining that we are taking a journey on a steam train through the Rocky Mountains. Now, the Rocky Mountains are huge mountains that go from all the way from Canada, way up in, Can way up in Canada, all the way down to New Mexico. And this makes me wonder something. If you, went to, if you were in the Rocky Mountains, what would you do? What would you do up in the Rocky Mountains if you ever went there? Go ahead and think about that and go ahead and tell somebody in your family or a friend that you're watching this with. And if you need some extra time, you can go ahead and pause the video. So what I would do is I would probably do some hiking and exploring, maybe see what kind of wildlife I could see. I'm really curious on what you guys would do. Probably You guys probably have some good ideas. So um, you guys talked about some different things that you would do in the Rocky Mountains. Um, but if we were on a train going somewhere together, we would be. We would actually have something in common. We wouldn't have. It wouldn't be something different. We would have something in common because we'd all be going in the same direction. So now I want you to think about what you have in common, or what's the same about you and somebody that you're with right now. So go ahead and talk about that for a little bit. And like I said, if you need extra time, you can pause the video. So, um, and when you hear this train whistle. <coughs> It's time to stop, so let's focus back in, okay? So remember, God made us, each of us, different. 
Um, but we can also find ways that we're alike. You guys just found some ways that you're alike. So let's sing a song about a train we all want to be on, that we all will have in common, would love to be on this train. And this, tra this song is called, This Train is Bound for Glory. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus has made a place in heaven for me Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. So that song made me, I don't know about you, but that song made me so excited for heaven. If you think about heaven, we know that heaven will be a beautiful place where we get to spend forever with God and we know more sadness or pain. We can only really imagine what heaven will be like, but we can imagine that it will be pretty awesome. Um, and But there's also, we you know, heaven is going to be with God always, but also there's evidence of God all around us. And this is where we talk about our God sightings. We have our bracelets, remember, that say watch for God on them. And so I want you to think about some things that you have noticed in your life that are God working. Think about that for a second. And you can even share with somebody if you want to and pause the video. Um, and let's celebrate those, those God sightings today. And we're going to sing my favorite song, Everywhere I go.
through no matter what twists and turns life may bring. Um, let's try something. I want you guys to imagine this balloon is you, okay? So you're full of joy and you're full of gladness and you're full of good things in your life, like maybe a happy family, everyone's healthy, maybe you have a beautiful home, maybe you have toys, maybe you have friends, maybe you have people that you love that love you and those are blessings in your life and maybe that fills you with joy, maybe that fills you with gladness. Wait a second, you don't look very full of joy and gladness. I want you guys to make your arms like this balloon and put your arms up, up, up and go ahead and shout something that makes you feel joy, makes, that makes you feel glad. Go ahead and shout it to the TV or wherever you're watching this from, okay? So there's lots of things that make us feel joy, right? Um, but sometimes life isn't always full of these things. Sometimes somebody gets sick or sometimes we have to move to a different house or sometimes we lose a friend and they move away. Sometimes things happen in our life that is sad and we might feel sad, right? Our joy, our being full might start to feel a little bit less joyful. We might feel a little bit discouraged. Go ahead and pull your arms down like they're starting to deflate just like this balloon. I'm going to make it deflate a little bit. right? And some days it might be, we might feel really, really sad. There might be something really sad going on, something really terrible. And maybe we even feel hopeless. Maybe we feel completely sad and we don't really have any joy, um, we feel like, in our lives. Maybe that has happened to you before. Um, but that's why I'm glad that Jesus' power gives us hope, right? And that's our Bible point today. Jesus' power gives us hope. We can say, trust Jesus. Let's try that again. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. That's right. And Jesus doesn't just fill us with happy things. His power is deeper and stronger than that. The Bible says, so be strong and courageous, all who put their hope in the Lord. Jesus' power does this to us. Watch. It fills us up with joy again. And his power gives us hope that we can trust Jesus. And with that hope, our hearts can fly. To help us remember our Bible point, let's meet the new Bible buddy today. Go ahead and watch the next video. Let's take a look. you're back on track at Rocky Railway. Wow, the first day just flew by, didn't it? I'm Ava, a red-tailed hawk. You can find me and my family members all over North America. We're everywhere. Even though we live all across North America, you may not see me in your backyard. <laughs> well, unless you don't have any neighbors. We like to live in wide open spaces where we can soar over treetops, grass, and water looking for food. You might say that red-tailed hawks are faithful friends. When we find a mate, we stay together for life. My fine feathered friend and I build our nests together and care for our chicks together. We're an excellent team. I'm happiest way up in the sky. That's why I build my nest at the tallest point I can find. Some hawk nests have been spotted as high as 120 feet off the ground. That's as high as a human tower of 20 tall crew leaders. My nest might be at the tip top of a tree or even on the top of a building or a telephone pole. That gives me a bird's eye view of what's around, food, friends, or animals that might want to hurt us. Ah, I love soaring with my big, beautiful wings. They're more than three feet across, you know. God gave me just what I needed to catch the wind and just fly. Up here, you see things differently. Stuff that seemed big seems smaller. Things that seemed harder look much easier. A path that looks like a dead end, hey, I can see a way out. A fresh perspective can put the wind under your wings and give you the strength to keep going. Sometimes I spot you humans with my sharp hawk eyes and you look a little down. Do things seem impossible? 
Scary? Hopeless? Maybe you need a fresh perspective. Maybe you need to see things Jesus' way, with hope. Jesus is stronger than anything. He has a plan for everything. You can have strength, courage, and hope. The Bible encourages us with these words. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. So trust Jesus. So Ava, this is Ava right here, and she reminds us that Jesus' power fills us with hope. We can say, trust Jesus, right? And that's letting our hearts be light. This song we're going to sing next is to remind us of what hope can do for all of us, and it's called In You Alone. Welcome to Exploration Station. This is day two and during Exploration Station we get to do an activity together with all sorts of supplies. So today you're going to need a glue stick, a piece of paper, some tape, and different color strips of paper here about an inch wide and your toy train and optional if you would like you could also have a flashlight so trains sometimes they have to travel through dark tunnels so we are going to make a tunnel for our train so what you need is you're going to get your strip of paper and you can use your tape or your glue stick whatever works best for you i'm going to use tape you get a little piece of tape and you put only on the edge. And we're going to make kind of like an arch. And fold it a little bit, get some more tape. And put it at the edge. 
That's one color of our tunnel. I'm gonna use green next. So we're gonna put the tape again just at the edge. And make my arch and tape it on the other side. Purple, green. I'm gonna use orange next for our tunnel. Get some more tape. And just at the edge, another arch. Tape it at the other end. And we're gonna keep going until we reach the end of our paper. So you could make your tunnel as long or small as the size of your paper. So let's do yellow next. Take that to the edge. And we kind of fold it up a little bit. I think we can fit one more color. Let's do purple again really colorful tunnel. All right, it looks like that's, that is our tunnel. And the, when we're all done our tunnel comes the fun part. We get to use our train and I'm gonna turn it on. All right, let's see how our train likes our tunnel. Here it goes! And we can start to go the other way too. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Let's shut our train off. So have fun with that with your family. And sometimes when we're going through dark times, sometimes it feels like we can be in a tunnel. We feel sad or we go through hard times. But Jesus is always with us, even through those hard times. And he is like the light at the end of the tunnel, and he gives us hope. So you can use your flashlight to show the light of Jesus through those hard times. Trust Jesus. Adventures Day 2 and I'm Miss Alicia and I'm glad that you're here with us today. So yesterday during Bible Adventures we learned about Ananias and God asked Ananias to visit Saul but Saul wasn't very nice to Jesus' friends and Ananias was afraid but Jesus helped Ananias even though it was hard because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now God changed Saul's heart and he gave Saul a new heart and Saul became Jesus's friend and started following him and people saw how much Saul had changed and they gave him a new name and his new name was Paul. What would you change your name to if you wanted a new name? can tell your mom or your dad what you would want your name to be. So after Paul became friends with Jesus, he started telling everybody about Jesus' love. But some people, they didn't like that very much. And they put Paul in jail. And they were going to send him to the king to, have, to be on trial. So that meant Paul had to go on a ship and he would sail to where the king lived. So now we're gonna climb aboard our ship and we're gonna pretend to sail. This is my wheel. So get your wheels at home. Do you have your ship wheel? And we're gonna sail on this boat together. At first, it was really nice and gentle waves were hitting the ship and the water was so peaceful. I could hear some birds chirping. The sun was shining, but then a huge storm came and the waves began to crash over the road and the clouds came and the wind was blowing and the storm pushed the ship way out into the ocean. 
ocean. And they, in the storm, lasted for 14 days. They didn't see the sun or the moon or the stars. Let's count the days together. Day one, no sun. Day two, three, four, still don't see the sun or the cloud or the stars, just clouds and lots of rain. The people on the ship, they thought that the ship was going to sink and that they were all going to die. Day five, day six, day seven, still no moon, just clouds and rain. Day eight, nine, ten, still just clouds and rain. So they decided they were going to throw things off the ship to make the ship lighter, to keep the ship from sinking. So let's do that together. I'm going to throw some of our things off the ship. We don't need this. We don't need this box. We have to make our ship lighter. Maybe you can grab some things at your home and get them off the ship. Oh, we don't need this suitcase. We need to make our boat lighter. Oh, there we go. That should help. Okay. Day 11, 12, 13, 14. But it was still a terrible storm. The men on the ship, they thought they didn't eat anything. They didn't eat anything because they thought they were all going to die. And they were losing hope. They felt powerless. Can you think of a time maybe in your life where you felt hopeless or powerless. Maybe you were moving away and you felt like there's nothing you could do and you had to make new friends. Or maybe there was someone at school who wasn't being very nice to you. Or maybe there was a broken relationship you wish you could fix. So those are all times when we can feel hopeless and we can feel powerless. Why don't you tell your parents and you can share a time when you felt sad or you felt powerless. Thanks for sharing everyone. So today we are going to be talking about a new kind of power. And this is the power of Jesus. The power of Jesus gives us hope. Trust Jesus. So Paul trusted Jesus and Jesus gave him power and gave him hope. So Paul shared his hope with the other men on the ship. He told them that Jesus sent an angel who would promise to protect everyone. The ship was going to sink, but Jesus promised that he would keep everyone safe and that they would make it to shore. Paul told the soldiers to go eat something because they're going to be okay and they needed the strength they needed to be able to swim to get off the boat. So Paul got some bread and he thanked Jesus for it and he ate it. So maybe you could go and find a snack right now, have a little snack, because that gives us hope that we have, that we can trust in Jesus and he's going to help us through this hard time. So everybody on the ship, they ate their snack. And they gave some to all the other men, and they ate some. They felt much better. Jesus' power gave them hope. Trust Jesus. So the next morning, they were looking around, and they saw land. The ship couldn't get to the land, so the sailors had to swim ashore. So we are going to pretend to swim. So you can pretend to put your life jacket on, get some buckles. And here we go, we're gonna jump off the ship. Okay, and we're gonna start swimming to shore, everyone. Move your arms, swim, swim. Keep going, almost there. All right, I think we made it. And when they made it there, they counted, just to make sure everyone was there. So how about you count everyone? Make sure that everybody made it. Okay, I think we're all here, we're all safe. So the men made it safely too, just like Jesus had promised. Being that storm, it must have been really scary for the men on the ship, but Paul knew a power that could was greater than any storm, and that's Jesus' power. Jesus' power gives them hope. Trust Jesus. Sometimes scary or sad things can happen to us too. Do you remember when we made that tunnel during our exploration station? Sometimes when we go through 
hard or sad times. We can feel like we're in the dark and it's a scary time. But then, do you remember that flashlight? Jesus' power is our hope at the end of the tunnel. And sometimes it's hard not to see that anything good is coming. But Jesus helps us see that we won't always be in the dark. So Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Okay, see you later, everyone. Good job. Okay, everyone, let's pray and thank God for all he has taught us today. Dear God, thank you for this special message you gave us that teaches us the power we have in Jesus. And even though we go through hard and sad times, you are always with us and you are like the light at the end of the tunnel. And we pray that we would trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi everyone, now it's time to do an activity together after our Bible story from day two. And this activity is for preschoolers. And what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about light in the darkness and how even when things seem dark, Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. So what we need for this activity is a plastic bin, something like this this size and inside your plastic bin you're gonna put tissue paper and you can use white tissue paper or I used a cream color or you can even use napkins and some tape and you're gonna tape all the tissue paper inside the bin and this is gonna be like a special table for us to do our activity now underneath our bin we need to put a flashlight you can use a flashlight in your house, or I have a flashlight on my phone, so I'm going to use that. And we have our special table. So in our story, we learned about how hope is like light in the darkness. And the people on the ship, they were afraid. They thought they were going to sink. But Jesus sent an angel, and the angel gave them hope and told Paul that everyone was going to be safe. So what we're going to need is our Bible activity page. It looks like this, and we see all the sailors on the ship, and they're looking they look pretty scared. But then Paul here is giving them hope that they are going to be okay. So before we start, it says, Jesus' power gives us hope. Paul encourages others in the storm and sea wreck. That means he's giving them that hope. Our Bible verse is, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. Then you're going to put your paper down on your glowing table. And time for the fun part. You need some blue paint. I'm going to take the cover off and a paintbrush. I have my paint and my paintbrush, and I'm going to use my paint to color the water in my picture. And there's some pretty big waves over here. This must have been a really big storm. So here's just some of what it might look like as you're painting. And then you can use your crayons to color the people. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Welcome to day two locomotion games storm tag. Materials that you'll need is a jump rope, a beach blanket, a spray bottle. And what you'll set up is to put the jump rope on the ground as the ship kids are on, and the beach blanket has the island. Another side, the parent will have the spray bottle, and the objective is for the kids to go from their ship to the island. The men who sail with Paul had to swim to an island where their ship got stuck. Let's play a game where we try to get safely to that island over there.
foot, open water. <laughs> Quite as fun for the sailors to fall. Some would probably wonder if they would make it. Sometimes we wonder if we'll ever done with the hard times. But we know Jesus had a good plan for us. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! Hi everyone, welcome to Choo Choo Snacks Day 2. Our snack today is called Bagel Tunnel. You will need bagels, cut in half, and cream cheese. If you don't like cream cheese, you could use butter or anything else that you like on your bagel. Now take your cream cheese and spread it in between your bagel half. And then you're going to start arranging your bagels like a tunnel. Our bagel tunnel isn't long, but trains can be in dark tunnels for a really long time before the light at the end of the tunnel appears. The light gives hope because it means the train is about to make it through the tunnel. We'll get through dark or hard times in our lives too. Today's special Bible verse, Psalm 31, 24, tells us be strong and courageous all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Enjoy everyone and don't forget to pray. Welcome back to KidVid Cinema. I'm Pastor David, and it's day two. And we're excited to see you and excited to present another story for you. Today, we're going to see a video about a girl named Annalise who plays a really neat instrument, an accordion. Do you play an instrument? Would you like to play an instrument? If you could play any instrument in the world, what would you play? Think about it for a minute. Many of you, you could silently play that instrument like a guitar. So when I count to three, play that instrument. Great! You guys could be stars. I'm impressed. There's a lot of musical talent out there. Today we're discovering that Jesus' power gives us hope. We need to Trust Jesus. And I'm curious to see what the story of Annalise has to do with hope. Let's take a look. My name is Annalise and I'm 11 years old. Annalise is a singer and accordion player. I started playing the accordion at the age of 8 years old. She plays a style of traditional Mexican music called Norteño. I love making music because I feel happy when I make music. I feel like I'm like more closer to God because I sing for Him and I play for Him. When she's not playing music, Annalise loves playing basketball with her brothers and taking care of all the animals on the ranch in Arizona where she lives. On our ranch, we have horses, pigs, chickens, and goats. My horse's name is Frosty. He's a really nice horse. Sometimes he's really sleepy. He doesn't like to walk. I don't think he sleeps in the night or something, but he's really tired. Annalise didn't know when she started playing music years ago that it would end up being so helpful and bringing hope to her and her grandmother when they went through a hard time. So my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. As her grandma fought cancer, Annalise and her accordion constantly kept her grandma's spirits up and helped her to keep fighting. 
Um, when I prayed my curtain to my grandma, I would be happy because I would see her happy. She would smile, be like really happy, and my grandpa as well, he would be happy too. I usually play um, one of her favorite songs, which is Let's Praise the Lord, and she loved that song. Annalise sings that song for us. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. He is wonderful, marvelous. Lord of lords, kings of kings. Annalise and her grandma held on to hope in Jesus, even though times were hard. What brought me hope was that I would always see her pray. Like in my like opinion, I would be sad when I would see her like drink all those medicines that she would have to drink. But I knew she had hope that God would make a miracle in her. After lots of praying and trusting in Jesus' power, Annalise's grandmother got better. God healed her from cancer. Jesus' power gives us hope means to me like Jesus has love for us. Jesus has the power for us to have hope in him. In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24, it says, so be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. God's always with you. God loves you. God's here for you. God loves everyone equally. He would love you too. Annalise learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. I love this story. Music has great power to give us calmness, to give us joy, to uh, inspire us. And here, Annalise gave her grandmother hope with her musical talent. We can do the same thing. Jesus gives us various things that we can use to bring hope to other people. And that's a beautiful thing. What can you do to bring hope to others. When we ask Jesus and we ask him for his power and strength, he gives it to us and we can bring that hope to others. Let's pray and thank God for the hope that only he can give. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for the hope that you bring in Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for the strength that you give us. And we thank you for the many good things that you bring into our lives, like music. And we pray, Lord, to be people, kids, who give hope to others through the hope that we receive from Jesus. In Christ's name, amen. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Craft and Play Day 2. And today we are going to be making a crafts called Amazing Ava. And Amazing Ava is our Bible buddy. And she can fly way up high and she can see everything that maybe we can't see from the ground. And sometimes we can't see how hard times are going to get better. But Jesus can. He knows the future and he is taking care of us so we can trust him because jesus power gives us hope trust jesus so let's see what we need for our craft today we're going to need a, a white paper plate some yellow tissue paper and you're going to need two googly eyes was aside. You're going to need three feathers. Let's see, one, two, three, a hole punch, a glue stick and tape, scissors, a yellow and brown piece of construction paper, and last 
some scissors. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> you are going to need some ribbon or rope. Let's get started. You're going to take your paper plate and we are going to be using our scissors to cut it in half. And you can, if you're really good with scissors, you can do this by yourself or you can get some help from someone in your family. But we're only gonna use this part of the plate, so we don't need this part, so put that aside. And now I'm going to color my plate brown with my brown crayon. This is going to be Ava's body. Okay, I'm going to get the sides. All right. So we colored the body brown. Next, I am going to use my brown piece of paper and my scissors. I'm going to cut a circle to make Eva's face. Okay, here's a circle for her face. And now I'm going to use my yellow piece of paper and I'm going to cut a triangle to make Eva's beak. her face and it's just going to be her feet. So we're going to use our glue stick to glue those pieces together. So she has her beak. Now she needs her eyes. I'm going to get my two googly eyes. Stick them on. Now we have Ava's face, and I want to glue her face to the body. So I'm going to glue it to that paper plate. So glue down, and you can hold it for a few seconds, make sure it's nice and tight. And then we have her face and her body. Next, I'm going to do her feathers. So I'm going to take, put some glue on the other side of my plate. And I'm going to push the feathers on one, two, and three. Wow, beautiful. I have her feathers, I have her face, but the most important thing she needs is her wings so that she can fly. So what we're going to do is use, get our tissue paper, and we're going to use this tissue paper to make her wings. We're going to fold it, push down, flip it, and fold it, and push it down, flip it, fold it, push it down, and we're going to do the whole tissue paper. These are going to be her beautiful wings to help her soar. Now that it's folded, we're going to put it on top here and to hold it you're going to need to get your tape get off a piece of tape and we're going to put that tape right across so it can hold the tissue paper and she has some beautiful wings now we're going to help Ava fly by putting a ribbon around her that we can hold. So now you're going to need your hole puncher and we are going to put a hole right in between where the wing and her head is, right here. Push it hard, make sure you get a hole. Okay, there's one hole and now we're going to put the other hole on the other side between her wings and her feathers. So we have our two holes. Now we need our string or ribbon and we are going to give it a good length, about this size, and cut it. 
Now, where we made those holes, we're going to tie our string. So I'm going to put it through the hole and make a little knot to keep it together. Bring it to the other side, put it through the hole, and tie another little knot. Now we are going to pretend that Ava is flying. So you're going to hold your string and you can bounce it around your house and help Ava move her feathers and her wings. Okay, have fun everyone with your Ava birds. Bye. Welcome back everyone. It's day two of Imagination Station. And I can't wait, and I'm excited to see what we're going to learn today. Did everybody remember their imagination? I thought you would forget. So I talked to Ava. Ava, the red-tailed hawk, told me an incredible thing. God created them with a unique, one-of-a-kind call. Now close your eyes and imagine we're hawks on a big mountain about to take flight. Wow, that was so cool. Now I have a question. Red-tailed hawks have great eyesight. But can they see colors or only black and white? Drum roll, please! Red tail hawks see colors, more colors than humans. Today we're learning that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but I really need the hope Jesus gives us. Now, this gizmo reminds me of bubbles, but it's way more fun. This, everyone, is a hope and hover. We'll put it together in a minute, but watch how it works. Sometimes I'm feeling down, and I need to remember the hope Jesus gives. The hope Jesus gives raises my spirits and makes me feel better. And sometimes when another person is down, I can remind them of the hope we have in Jesus and make them feel better. Wow. And other times, we can celebrate Jesus' hope together and thank him for that hope. Now I'll show you how to, how to assemble yours. In your bag, you will have a wooden flute. And you will have this blue thing. You're going to take it and put it in the middle hole. You push it down. And then you're going to have two balls. One goes in one, one goes in the other. And there's these little holes and each under each ball. When you want one to raise up, like say I want to raise the first one, I put my finger over the hole. Say if I want to raise the other one, I put my finger under this one. Pretty cool. Have fun, everyone. Welcome back to Rocky Wrap-Up Day 2. All right, we're going to start off our wrap-up today with singing that song, Power Shuffle. Heart is the power. Yeah, God's power. 
So our Bible point today, if you remember, was Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. That's right. And our Bible memory buddy today was Ava, and she is a red-tailed hawk. And this helps us remember that hope makes us soar spectacularly. Everyone go ahead and soar. Soar. Use your wings. Soar spectacularly. Right? So um, you can go ahead and take Ava. She should be with your VBS kit. And you can even add her to your carabiner like we did yesterday with um, Ramsey. So you can add her there. And like I said, there's an app you can play, you can download. Oh, I did that backwards. You can app you can download and play a game with um, her. And like I said, at the end of the week, you can use your um, Tracking with Jesus Bible. Um, and you can use these little... Um, guys as like little game pieces for that. So keep this around. You're going to want to keep it to remember, but also you can have some fun with it. I'm so excited. Yesterday I read about a gold rush that happened here a long, long time ago. People rushed onto trains from far away to mine for gold in the mountains. They traveled here to find gold, they, but they couldn't find all the gold. So I was searching for sparkly, shiny, spectacular gold. I want you guys to search for some gold around your house, okay? So I want you to go ahead and go through your house and find something shiny or anything that looks maybe gold-like or a gold-like color maybe or something just shiny that's just sparkly maybe um, in your house. And after you find something and show with um, your family or whoever you're watching this with, then I want you to answer the questions that are going to be on your screen. And after that, you're going to sing in you alone. So find your gold, then answer the questions, then sing a song.
we're going to wrap up our celebration by celebrating that Jesus' love and power by singing, we can trust him because we always can hold on to Jesus' awesome power to get us through. Before we sing, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then we'll end with our song. All right, let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for this time at BBS together. Um, thank you that we can do this even from afar. Um, thank you that your power gives us hope. Thank you for the hope that you give us every day, um, that you get us through hard times and you give us joy and you give us things to look forward to. We look forward to heaven, to be with you, Lord, and we are so thankful for all the blessings that you give us um, all the time. In your name, amen. <laughs> Everything.